Hi everyone, I hope you are doing great and welcome to another episode on I Do Care. As I told you in the previous video, today we are going with the delivery of Manchas, the beginning of his new life. A life full of adventures that await him in the Caribbean. To this intrepid puppy, this destiny suits him perfect. Out of the world leader of puppies, we thought it up, Manchas is the most adventurous. All you have to do is looking at his little face. He's a little rascal. And his adopter, a young boy from the Costa Rican Caribbean, is the right person to become the one he will be from today, his adventure partner for the rest of his life. have a surprise in today's video. I know I say that we will take you with us to the Caribbean to deliver Manchas to his new family, but I don't know if you remember Goose. This handsome blonde who got an adopter precisely from, guess where? Exactly, from the Caribbean too. So the day before we went to take Manchas, we had to go to the shelter to pick up this adorable little dog to make him handsome and take advantage of this long trip to make a double delivery. <laughs> the shelter crazy as always, more and more puppies. The truth is that this seems to be an endless struggle, but with each small achievement, we know that we are making a big change. So I take this opportunity to thank everyone those who rode with us and are part of the change. Guys, this video is full of surprises. Do you recognize that pretty dog that shares the back seat with Goose? In that, she is Bali. That little dog that we rescued in her bones, totally malnourished, and that we took the shelter a few months ago, and that a while later we brought home with Molly to make a nice video and look for her forever family. The lucky Molly found the family right away, but Bali did not have the same luck. However, that just changed. So we decided to bring her home too because, my friends, you can't imagine the news we have with Bali but we will talk about it in the next video because it is huge news. You are not going to believe it. It is too much. <laughs> Little Goose, who goes unnoticed in the shelter, always behind everyone and very submissive, at home he went crazy and he didn't want to stop playing. He was very happy, as if he knew what was happening as if he knew that his new life was about to start. Him and Manchas, who was going to be his traveling companion towards the Costa Rican Caribbean. The trip began with rain, but the dogs were so comfy, especially Manchas, who didn't take long to come forward on Rebecca's legs. What a rascal! Endless curses on board fresh water. Is the prince offered something else? Definitely a first-class trip. And hello again! So here we are on the road again with this beautiful man which is sleeping. He's so tired, you know, the puppy's life is so stressful and busy, you know. And well, we are going, we're driving to the Caribbean Sea, to the east coast of Costa Rica because this little guy is gonna live there. Him and Goose, because these both guys are living on the Caribbean Sea for the rest of their lives. And well, here, here we are on the road, let's see how it goes with this crazy day. And well, 
it was time to deliver manchas to his new dad a young boy who showed us that he will be very responsible with the baby we brought him all his vitamins and supplements that we were still giving him to finish the treatment for anemia and the special food that he still had left and the adopter surprised us by telling us that he had already bought him the same food at the vet the boy had seen the food on the videos and decided to buy it so as not to change his diet and i tell you it is a very expensive food so 10 points for the new manchas dad and so here we are with the manchas daddy which is this boy from here and it, at the end he is living so close where we are going to deliver this handsome boy goose so we are driving with him just in the car all together to the same place because at the end of the day this couple of doggies are I'm living neighbor. so close our neighbor yes i just neighbors so we're gonna be friends <laughs> And time to say goodbye to this little boy who, as we said before, is the puppy with whom we have shared the most time and experiences. And the truth is that leaving both him and Pekas was quite hard. But well, we know that it is the best for them. And unfortunately, we can't keep everyone, so we had to let them go. And we know that these adopters will give everything for them be very happy little rascal we will miss you a lot y aquí está la mamá de Gus hola aquí te lo traemos se ha portado muy bien todo el camino and almost literally next door Goose adopter was waiting for us. These two little dogs have ended up being neighbors in the Caribbean of Costa Rica. How wonderful. Sammy, which is what Goose's new mom is called, had gone out of the main road to make it easier for us to find her. But since we were there, it was no problem to bring her home with her new baby in her arms. We took advantage of the little trip to give her all his little things and look how close Goose is going to be to the sea. First line of beach. And not just any beach, huh? But the damn Caribbean. What envy, Goose. What envy. May you be very happy. Bueno, adios, Goose. Ahí te quedas. Adios, adios. <laughs> Look how the puppies survived and found their perfect families. One of them to the west coast in the Pacific Ocean and the other one to the east coast in the Caribbean. Look at Ivy's. We couldn't neutralize her and find her a perfect, perfect home for her. We are achieving many things and all of this is thanks to you. So really, thank you for being part of this. And if you are not still helping us, please think about it and join us in our support groups on Patreon or PayPal. We are doing great things, but we need you in our boat. So please join us and let's continue doing great things. And as promises are made to keep, as we told you in the previous video, and since the rain has given us a break, we will take you with us to Cahuita National Park, where we saw a lot of wildlife. Come with us and let's start. Crocodiles. Luckily, it is something that we only usually see on sinks because the truth is that those animals, if we don't come across them, the better. From this side, you have a crocodile, and from this, the ocean. 
so you have crocodiles in the both sides. <laughs> yeah, because there are crocodiles in the ocean too. No. And the interesting thing is like we need to cross this crocodile river, so... <laughs> cross fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we are so excited because we are seeing a sloth and this is just the only animal that we were missing to see today and just here is, just look at that. Okay, I know, maybe you can't see a, an animal there but I promise you this is a sloth, really, he is, uh, this is so exciting. have enjoyed this little walk in the full nature. The truth is that we did not expect to see so many wildlife and we were crazy about animals. We couldn't be happier. We saw raccoons, monkeys, very close by the way, which is not so common, hermits, lizards, and even the emblematic sloth, which cost a little more to see. So we were very happy, so satisfied with the walk and also that the day was fixed for us a lot to be able to enjoy the park. And well, until here, today's video. Thank you so much for joining us one more day. See you in the next one in which we will tell you the epic news that Bali has to tell you. For whom a promising future awaits. You are going to freak out with this, I swear you. Remember that you can help us on Patreon and PayPal if you like what we do. It will help us a lot to continue helping animals in need. You have the links down below in the description of the video. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Leave your comments. It is always a pleasure to read them and see you very soon.